Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. Me, Game of Six of Escape from Monkey Island. On the last Let's Play, we broke into the bank so we can get a Tupperware container and then put a whole bunch of random stuff in a pure fume bottle, sprayed at a guy, and worked on monkey controls till we got to schedule so we could do a thing. Now we need to steal a clock. But how? Maybe rubbing up things against guys for some reason? I like music, buddy. I don't think he'd like that. Hmm. Okay, but what about chicken grease? I don't think he'd like that. I don't think he'd like that. Hmm. I don't think he'd like that. 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 Hmm. Okay. So. Yes. Hey, it's a plate of brownies. Where? <laughs> nice move, Brainiac. That doesn't count. You know the rules. You let go of a piece, it's a move. But, but, but. Rules are rules, Tabo. Fine. So you should probably wait till he has a piece and then be like, hey, there's Brittany, right? Oh, look, it's Brittany. <gasps> Brittany. Where? <laughs> Ooh, good move. Don't tell me you're gonna count that. You bet your bonny butt I am. You unbelievable jerk. Who was it told me that rules are rules, Tabo? Fine. You wanna see a move? Here's a move. You call that a move? This is a move. You can't do that. Oh, yeah? Who's gonna stop me? Full step standing. Who is a warrior? Right Bug magnet. Well, that was easy. I was, I was gonna be like, well, this is going to take forever for me to figure out. And then I just stumbled upon it. It's a crude raft. Use it. Oh, right, I have it on my uh, phone. At least since I, these aren't the Let's Plays where I have a face rig thing, I can actually, uh, you know, look at the things. Uh, was it? Gallery, camera. Okay, so it's about 1.55? So I go north. I'd have to assume. And I hold shift. Oh, I see. Yeah. Now let's see, that's 315, which is west. You know, because, yeah, this place is cursed. Now it's about, oh, 130. So, north. Hopefully, there'll be a shortcut after this, but at least it doesn't seem to be the hey, hardest Guybrush, things. I need your help. Here, take this. What's this for? I'm you in the future. I need you to open the gate for me. Oh, you'll need this too. Ooh, a rope. That'll be useful. And this. Um, great. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. That sounds very familiar for some reason. If you're really me, then what number am I thinking of right now? Twelve. Creepy. That is the number I'm thinking of. I guess you really are me. I'd better not. I think all this talking to myself is wreaking havoc with the space-time continuum. It's locked. Really? 
Okay. Okay. Thanks, Guybrush. You're the greatest. Oh, I've got one more thing for you. Hey, great, a gun. Watch out, peg nose. Plenty, it's about 12.15, so I go west. And then now it's 2.40, so I go south. And now it's 3 o'clock exactly, so I go east. Hey Guybrush, I need your help. No, don't say anything. You'll cause a paradox. Thanks. Um. Me? I'll try to be careful. Add no open gate. F4. It's locked. I can't reach the keyhole from this side of the gate. I'll need someone to help me. Here, take this. What's this for? I'm you in the future. I need. I didn't read everything. Uh oh. Huh. Whoa. Damn. It's a crude raft. So I basically have to remember everything that's going on. That's an interesting thing. Let's see, it was north. 155. And then, uh... What's that, 2? No, 315, which is west. And then 130, which is north. I need your help. Here, take this. Here, take this. What's this for? I'm you in the future. I need you to open the gate for me. Oh, you'll need this too. Um, great. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. And this. Rubber chicken rope. Ooh, a rope. That'll be useful. Oh... Don't ask any more questions. Just open the gate. No way. That's probably Pegnose Pete disguised as me again. If you're really me, then what number am I thinking of right now? 69. Creepy. Nice. That is the number I'm thinking of. I guess you really are me. Guybrush, you're the greatest. Oh, I've got one more thing for you. Gun. Hey, After... great, a gun. Watch out, peg nose. Gate. Okay, so let's see. It's a uh, twelve thirty-five. So I think it was west. No, 12.15, so west. And then 2.40, which is south. And then what was it, east? Three clocks east. Hey, Guybrush, I need your help. No, don't say anything. You'll cause a paradox. Thanks. Um, me? I'll try to be careful. Damn it. 
Here, take this. What's this for? I'm you in the future. I need you to open the gate for me. Oh, then, uh, remember chicken with a pulley in the middle? I need to look that up. Because I've heard that in other places. Oh, you'll need this too. Um, great. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. And then... What was it? Rope. And this. Ooh, a rope. That'll be useful. If you're really me, then what number am I thinking of right now? 69. Creepy. That is the number I'm thinking of. I guess you really are me. Thanks, Guybrush. You're the greatest. Oh, I've got one more thing for you. Hey, great, a gun. Watch out, Peg Nose. Good to use that gun. So let's see, it's about 4, 15, which is south, which he is going to. Now it's 12, 35, so east. Yeah, set back to the timer. <clears throat> I can hear some people talking inside. If I move closer to the window, maybe I'll be able to make out what they're saying. Like I said, I got the job done. Now where's my money? Hmm. Well, was it another bank job? Good. Uh, yeah, all in due time, my dear Mr. Pignose. Hey, that voice sounds familiar. We've only completed part of the plan. You've done an admirable job in getting Guybrush out of the way, as well as reappropriating the Marley family heirlooms. I trust you put them somewhere safe for the time being. Of course I am. I'm no idiot. That junk you're so interested in is safe and sound in my impenetrable cave. That junk, as you call it, may very well be the key to ridding these islands of pirates once and for all. Uh, uh, no offence, of course. Right. So about my feet. Later, my good man. In the meantime, the heirlooms are our little secret. Keep them hidden, and not a word to anyone. We'd hate to have my plan spoiled by an indiscretion. All right, Mr. Mackerel, we'll do it your way. But if you don't pay me soon, I'll cut your gizzard out. There's no need to be such a ruffian. You'll get what's coming to you. I'm better. I'm off to tend to my affairs. Now that we're in possession of the Marley heirlooms, I must good be... Good thing they didn't hear... How they relate to the ultimate insult. They didn't hear me so, creaking around outside. Ozzie and Pegnose are working together. After I deal with Pegnose here, I'll have to pay Mr. Mandrill a little visit. Hey. Pegnose must catch his own fish. Well, I know he doesn't like ducks. He seemed to be very put together. I bet a whole lot of crawdaddies would fit in this trap, and I bet it doesn't catch many either, with gaps that big between the bars. No thanks, I'll get my crawdaddies at the restaurant. Hmm. That's greasy enough as it is. No, I get enough grease eating fish and chips. Do we have any rope still? No, okay. Now well, let's try the duck again. Duck, are you? Yeah, 
Can I keep the duck? I like ducks. I don't think so. You're going to jail, bucko. Well, Inspector, here's your real criminal. What's this? That looks like peg nose beat. He didn't change his clothes at all. It is. He's the one who framed me for the bank robbery. I'd like this anklet removed now. You got nothing on me. I overheard you and Ozzy talking about how he hired you to rob the bank and frame me. Ah, that won't hold up his evidence. He's right. Do you have proof he did it? Well, not exactly. Then I will not be administering justice in this case. But you can't just let him go. Oh, Pete's not going anywhere. He's wanted for plenty of other crimes. Come back when you think you can prove what you claim. <sighs> All right. Oh, there was a Tupperware container in there. Oh. I'm sure this is useful, but how? Uh. I don't think you'd like that. What was in with a hanky? Oh, Inspector, I think you'll find this interesting. What's this? It's a stinky hanky that belongs to the real bank robber. Who? Big nose Pete. I'm innocent! Why, yet yeah, you? It wouldn't prove he was the perpetrator to do that. Rats. Yeah, okay. Something about a secret cave somewhere. Hopefully I don't have to go through all that stuff again. It's a crude raft. Use it. He probably has something in the place. Please let it just fast travel. Thank you. It, ooh, rum. No thanks. I prefer to drink rum that's been prepared by people with fully functioning nasal equipment. That's the door to Pegnose's shack. Can I use it? That's the door to Pegnose's shack. It's locked. Now then, can we go through the side door? There's no glass. There's nothing to open. Nobody there. We're looking for evidence. That's the door to Pegnose's shack. Nobody there. There's no glass. There's nothing to open. Oh. I pressed the O button. Okay. It's locked. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if there's anything with Poor you. Thing. Poor defenseless giant platypus. I'm back. What do you want, man? Hey, you're the jerk who hired Pegnos to frame me for the bank robbery. That's strange. I heard that you were the one who robbed the bank. Ha! I overheard you talking to Pegnos in the swamp. What? You heard me. I know all about your scheme to steal the Marley heirlooms. Ah! Your puny pirate brain is incapable of perceiving the true depths of my scheme. Besides, you'll never be able to pin anything on me without the loot. And you'll never find it. Ha! I already found it. Really? You found Pegnos's booty showcase. Um, yeah. What did it look like? That's a booty. I thought there would be more chintz. Hmm. You're probably bluffing. But I was planning to take a hike to the showroom anyway. When I return, I'll have plumbed the mysteries of the ultimate insult. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. Grandpa Marley's letter mentioned the ultimate insult. I wonder if it's important.
Poor thing. Poor defenseless giant poor thing. Poor defenseless giant platypus. Poor thing. Poor dim-witted giant koala. I'd have to assume that there's something here I'm supposed to look at. I mean, I would follow him, but you know. Real pirates don't need guns. <laughs> I'll bet there's just more creepy stuffed relics behind this door. Poor thing, poor, poor thing, poor, ferocious, man eating giant ostrich. Poor thing, poor, doomed, hapless giant kangaroo. Is there any other thing around here? It's locked. Defenseless giant platypus. I'd hate to see the creature that laid this. Yep, he's back. Hmm. Looks like a duck there. I'm not particularly sure. Or platypus. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the walking stick guy? There doesn't seem to be much high res stuff here. I'm back. So you are. I'd like to take another whack at choosing the perfect walking stick. Well, then let's find a good one. Where do you expect to be doing? Amidst death. Uh huh? And how much? I'll probably. I sort of figured that. How long? Eight hours, 23 minutes, 37 seconds. Very good. Well then, take not to mention the new... I believe that the perfect walking... Hey, isn't that what you told me the last time? See? It must be the stick for you. It's Freddy's stick catalog. I'm back. So you... I'd like to take... Now, where do you... Along sun-swept Caribbean... Hmm. And how many people would... I'll be walking. She's a government. You know. Whatever you say. How long? Three minutes. You should try to pace your swell then. Take not to mention, I believe that the per- Gee, there's a- Hmm. All right, the wood shavings are put into the perfume. Hmm. I'm back. So you are. I'd like to take a Yeah, well, where do you walking? Perhaps you should talk to me again when you're more sticker you see. I mean we've made tons of progress on this let's play by bumbling into most of the things, but still. Whoever lives here must be pretty small. I thought that laundry got hung up after it was. That laundry's not my size. Oh. Okay. Let's put that in my pocket. Meant to just use this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Hmm. Oh. 
I really don't need it. Free scupperware promotion today. Just open an account with 10,000 pieces of eight or more. I really don't need it. No way. Real pirates don't need to add. Instead, we hire our pirate brethren, the accountants, to add and keep track of our treasure for us. They're already giving away free. It's full of reminders. January 1st, why 1.6K? Make sure Abacus still works. <laughs> like anything's gonna happen. Plundering helpless and unwitting natives of exile. But still, no way. I'm Couldn't have just put us in here to get a ledger. I mean, a uh, Tupperware container. I can't go out that way. Inspector Kennard is watching the entrance. I'm sure. Nah, I leave the home decorating to Elaine. Nah, I'm sure if I really needed to use the bathroom, the bank manager would let That's the second most useless trinket I've ever seen. That's the second most useless trinket I've ever seen. Hmm. Okay, how do we do this? I don't think that would help anything. 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 Hmm. See, the bait shop was for the bait. Are there any other places? Dog is a smelly guy. Ow! Ow. Hey there, money bags. Very funny, Mr. Threepwood. Are you enjoying the money you stole? I hear my bro. Hmm. Sure that there's this area up here, but nothing up here. Seems like there's multiple things right here just a second ago. Hmm. Lucar Island Port Authority. Anything hey, new to you? What do you want? Since you're stuck here, would you like me to like what? Are you sure you don't? Are you sh okay? Okay. Hmm. What up? Carry on. Do I really? Maybe you can ask. Oh wait, is oh wait. I can do that? Hey, check out that pair of No, Elaine probably wouldn't like that. Weasel warrior! That just came out of nowhere. Maybe we can talk to her for more stuff. Why, hello there, Britain. Oh, why do you sound like a sick cr I know someone who has a crush on you. Oh! Okay. Castaneda fellow. You know, the chess player. Oh, yes, I know. Poor Santos. He's so tragically intense. Macho, but sensitive. But he's so busy playing that stupid old game with his buddy. It's, it's like I don't exist sometimes. Hey, I have a dream. Want to hear it? Someday, when I'm rich and famous, he'll look up from that chessboard for a second suddenly realize what he missed out on. Ironic, huh? I know someone who- oh! The bank manager. Ew! <laughs> it, that's creepy. Besides, you can't even advance my career anymore now that the bank is closed. <laughs> I know oh! I do. Can you make me a star? Well, uh... Do you know anyone who can? Well, uh... Oh, well. If you think of someone, let me know. 
Well, I have manly things to do in a sensitive way. Hmm. Back away. Let's see. Hmm. I think I came up with a thing that would be able to do it. There's some way I could track the guy. Oh, well, we'll try that on another Let's Play. So anyways, that's going to be the end of this one. Boy, we really stumbled into... Okay, what was the thing there? Oop, back up. Back up. Into, um... Some... Interesting into uh, solutions. I'm back. What are you? You're through, Mandra. Let me guess. Yeah. And what did it? I thought the piled shag was a bit much. <laughs> So they spoke something I'm supposed to do here. With the power of the ultimate insult, don't touch anything while I'm gone. I don't know what. Once I clear my name, I really should find out what this ultimate insult thingy is. Anyways, and this is place of comment, cuz like them comments, tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. If you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow. Then please like, subscribe, and share other videos to have a grow. And please remember to spin new to your animals to help control the pet population. And until next time, let's play me, Gamer6, of. Match dueling swords. Ooh, maybe I'd beat him? I don't know. Of. Escape from Monkey Island. See ya.